Welcome back children. To Kavita Ramanath's accounts is easy. I hope you are finding accounts easy. I hope you have subscribed to my channel. And you have been watching all the videos right now. Till now on the, the topic final accounts. Yes. After finishing trading account. We are now going to move to the second segment. Which is profit and loss account. Yes. So we discussed that earlier. Hmm. Profit and loss account is also prepared for a particular year, so for the year ended, now whatever date will be given, I have just taken it as 31st March 2018. It can be any year depending on the sum. If it's not written also, you will leave it as 31st March and a blank. Okay. Now this is the next step in profit calculation. Till trading account, you all know that we have arrived at the gross profit. We already have calculated the gross profit. Gross profit meaning sales minus cost of goods sold. Correct? That gives me the gross profit meaning the directly, you know, the very important expenses we have subtracted from our revenue. But do you think those are the only expenses we have to subtract? Are there no other expenses apart from direct expenses like purchases? Uh, wages, carriage in the factory expenses, there are other expenses and without taking that, we will not be able to arrive at the net profit. Net profit is the final profit. Taking all other expenses and all other incomes also into account. Right now, till the trading account, we have just taken sales as the income. But there are other incomes too. So in this segment, we are going to find out how to arrive at the net profit. So, as I told you, this is in continuation to the trading account. We have transferred gross profit from the trading account to PL account. The journal entry was trading account debit to profit and loss account. That's how we have transferred the profit from the trading account. It should come here. Because this is being credited. So this is the way we start in case of a profit. By trading account. This is gross profit brought down from the trading here. Whatever be the amount. Is that clear? So here we start our profit and loss account with this profit. Meaning till now we are at this level of profit. Let us see further when we add other incomes. All incomes will be on the credit side. And all other indirect expenses will be on the debit side. So we will arrive at the net profit. What can be the other incomes of the firm? We can have discount received. Correct. Then we can have interest received. These are a few examples. We can also receive commission. Okay. So all these the firms are firm is going to receive. Alright. There can be so many other things. Interest on investments. Then rent received. All those things. Profit on sale of asset. So we are going to add this. Since we have put here meaning gross profit plus all other incomes we are doing. It's all on the same side. From there, whatever be the total. Okay. This is the total. So from there we subtract expenses. Okay. Two, suppose here we have again discount allowed. Okay. Then we have rent paid, suppose. Then office related expenses, office lighting, maybe salaries, then carriage on goods sold, meaning carriage outward. Similarly, we can have so many other expenses, okay? Depreciation, okay? Bad debts. These are a few items which will appear here. These are all indirect expenses. This we did not take till now into account while calculating gross profit. Correct? Therefore, from all of this, this is my total income minus all of this, meaning all other indirect expenses. The balancing figure. This total, whatever is the total here, we will subtract all of this and we get this here, the net profit, which I transfer to whom? This profit belongs to the 
owner, isn't it? The proprietor. Which is his account? His capital account. So his capital account will be credited with the net profit. Alright? So this is how we calculate this and therefore the total will be equal. That's how you close your profit and loss account. Done? Clear? Okay, there can be one variation in case of a loss. What if there is a loss in the trading account? How will we transfer the loss? Then we cannot debit trading account. Loss will come on the credit side. Therefore, in case of loss, in case of loss, the transfer entry would be profit and loss account debit to trading account. This entry will be reversed. This is in case of profit, gross profit. This is in case of gross loss. So how will we start in that case? Here account is being debited, so loss will be, we will put here. So first, first thing we will bring to trading account in case of a gross loss. Obviously it can be either profit or loss, not both. Similarly, the net profit. When we are arriving at it, uh, if we are having a profit, it will be here. If this side is falling short, meaning income side is falling short, expenses more, income is less, then obviously we will have a net loss. So here we will write by capital account, net loss being transferred and that's how the balancing figure comes and your account will close. Fine. Let us take a look at the format of the profit and loss account and we are given in your book also so that you have an idea about what are the usual items that will appear in profit and loss account before we move on to a sum. Now, if you had a look at the format, you have seen what other type of expenses come and the incomes also, right? So those are the usual probable stuff. Now, also the sum that I have given to you, the sum number 12 of DKOL. It's a pretty simple sum. We just have to uh, understand that once we know that all the uh, direct expenses have gone to the trading account, what is left is indirect income and indirect expense. All expenses here, all income here. Let's do that quickly. So, profit and loss account for the year ending this, please make note of the heading. You will lose marks there otherwise. General expenses, we have certain general expenses. Now, general expenses usually are related to your office, unless otherwise specified. Charity, meaning goods distributed or money distributed, given away as donations. That is a part of your office. Lighting. We just took that as an example, the lights of for the office, electricity, yes. Law charges or legal charges are again indirect expenses. So that is coming to profit and loss account, advertisement. See, all selling distribution expenses including advertisement should come as an indirect expense. Then bank charges. Bank charges meaning the charges debited by the bank provide for providing new services. Then commission. Now commission is one thing children. If nothing is given, received or paid, we assume it to be paid. And same goes for interest. Nothing is given, paid or received, paid. Rent, paid. Okay. Discount, allowed if not mentioned. So all these are usually considered as expenses. So we are I'm taking commission here, which is 7,000. Then rent, rates, taxes. These are all the taxes, monitor things that we have to pay for carrying on business. So that is regular interest on investments. Investments are always assets for me. I have put my money somewhere. Obviously, I'll get returns on that and therefore it's my income. So I'll leave a line here and I will write interest on investments. Alright? Interest is our income that I am receiving. 
simply it was written in twice and I was treated as, as an expense. Okay, but interest on investments, investments is always your asset. So always earn an income there. Sundry income meaning miscellaneous. Chota mota. Okay, sundry income and receipts will come here. Indirect expenses. Indirect expenses, the name itself saying indirect expenses. Then you have printing and stationery. Okay, printing and stationery 1500. Gross profit is here. Gross profit. I will not put it here as gross profit. I will write here, sorry, by trading account, gross profit. Product or simply gross profit seven lakh sixty nine thousand. All right. Many children write their gross profit and lose marks unnecessarily because there is no account for gross profit. Right? We are all naming accounts, different accounts here, which account and debiting or credit. Gross profit is no account. Where is this gross profit coming from? Which account? Trading account. So name the trading account. Carriage out word, office expenses. All our indirect expenses, fire insurance premium, fire insurance premium. Now, whenever you are getting your goods insured, you are supposed to pay a premium because that's the cost to you. You are paying this for covering your risk. So, usually, fire insurance will be covering only one year. So it's a revenue uh, expense, telephone charges, 13,500, then you have establishment expenses, establishment meaning you, whatever your office setup is related to that, you know the maintenance stuff, miscellaneous expenses, miscellaneous expenses, the sundry expenses, okay. That comes to 7,100. Hmm. Then we have discount received. Discount received income. Yes, anything received is an income. So we have 6,200. Then we have travelers salary. Travelers salary. Meaning our salesman who Travels, yeah, whoever, salesperson, whoever is uh, traveling, their salary. Then we have repair. Repair is a revenue expenditure. Repairs can be to your assets. Repairs is 4,300. And commission, credit. Now, commission, credit meaning what? All incomes are having credit balance. So, this commission will be commission received. One commission, nothing was given, I assume debit expense. This commission is my income because if commission account being a nominal account has a credit balance, meaning it is an ex income for me, not an expense. This done, all expenses put. Now how do you close it? By finding the balance, isn't it? We have to find out which side is more. So let us do that. Now, if we total up the credit side, let us see the credit side total. Total this up, we add all of this, we are getting 795,200 credit side total. Okay? Meaning income side, this is all income. Then we will get the uh, total of all the debit side total, meaning expenses, all expenses, meaning all on the debit side. It's coming to 2,23,200. So let us find the difference. If income is more than expense, what is this? Profit. And this we call net profit. Because this is the overall profit. Overall meaning taking all income and all expenses together. So how do we write it here? First thing. Here we are having 5,600,000. 
72,000. This is the balancing figure. Income side is less. Whichever side is less, you put the balancing figure. You will write here two capital account. This is net profit being carried forward. Then you total total it up. Total is seven lakh ninety five thousand two hundred on both sides. Seven lakh ninety five thousand two hundred. That's the account total. Here, so this is how you close your trading account and find out net profit. Simple. So our second segment of final accounts is also okay. Understood? Okay. So let's see you in the next video. Till then, keep watching more. Uh, watching out for more sounds in your book. Practice. Go to the illustrations also and also the theory related to these things. Okay. Take care children. Bye-bye.